So as you guys can see, and as you guys can tell by the title, Dimitris Andrade versus Johnny Beck Alimhanala. The WBO, the World Boxing Organization, has ordered this fight again. <laughs> uh, to those who don't know, uh, late last year, uh, this fight was ordered, but it did not happen. Uh, to me, it seemed like Andre was not interested in fighting Johnny Beck. Um, Andre was supposed to fight Zach Parker at 168 pounds, but that didn't happen. Johnny Beck ended up winning the interim belt. And now the WBO has ordered these two, their regular champion and their interim champion, to fight each other. Uh, if you go to the WBO website, um, you know, they posted up the letter that they sent to uh, Salita, Mr. Salita and Mr. Bob Aram of Top Rank and Salita of Salita Promotions who represents Team Andre. So it looks like um, Eddie Hearn no longer is the main promoter now, it seems like, for Team Andre. Uh, but yeah, they have 30 days to negotiate um, or else it will go to a purse bid. And if Andre decides not to fight Johnny Beck, Andre will be stripped off the belt and Johnny Beck will be elevated to super champion or to full champion, to regular champion. Um, and if Johnny Beck can't fight Andre, uh, then the interim belt will be vacant. So yeah, they have um, a $200,000 uh, minimum bid if it goes to a purse bid. Uh, if if Eddie Hearn and Matchroom is not involved in these negotiations, I think there's a very good chance we will see this fight. I think I think we we might actually see it as long as they're willing to pay Andre. I think if Andre's getting paid uh, a decent amount of money, um, then you know I think this fight will happen. And it sucks because you know Andre <laughs> Andre is one of those talents that wasn't that hasn't uh, showed his potential yet. He has yet to be in a big fight, which is a shame because Andre is a talented fighter, has been uh, for quite some time now, and he's been very underrated. He's been, um, you know, no, nobody really pays attention too much to him. That's a sad part too. Well, there is actually, let me, let me, let me take that back. There is a good amount of boxing fans who knows how good Andre is, but, you know, when it comes to the casual fan base, you know, when they see Andre, they're like, who the hell is that? You know, and, you know, they look at Canelo and, you know, what he told Andre, like, you know, uh, <laughs> payday, you want payday. Um, and it sucks because, in my opinion, I think Andre deserves a payday. But, you know, it is what it is. He's stuck with this opponent now. He's stuck with this opposition who, in my opinion, is high risk, low reward. Johnny Beck is a high risk, low reward fight. Johnny Beck is a good fighter. Yes, he has 12 professional fights, but he's a damn good fighter. Undefeated 12 0, 8 wins coming by way of knockout Tiko from Kazakhstan, where Triple G is from. Um, you know, he, fighting Johnny Beck won't really do much for Andre other than he gets to keep his belt or he gets to defend his belt. It really is a, a high risk, low reward fight. But you know it is what it is uh if you look at the 160 pound division right now and if you look at the wbo andre is right there who holds the belt and johnny beck holds that interim belt and i know we'd love to see andre in there against the big names canelo golovkin you know but you know it is what it is i can't believe canelo is still considered the franchise wbc champion ridiculous anyway um what do you guys think about this fight being ordered again? Uh, do you think do you think that it will actually happen again? You know, this time around in 2022, or uh, do you think it will never happen? Or do you think one of them will vacate the belt? Do you think Andre will move up in weight to 168? Let me know your thoughts and comments. I mean, I'll keep you guys updated on it. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.